Hey, it's me Terhi here. I'm playing today with Fancy Pants Designs, uh, Paisleys and Petals, and it's my first layout for Fancy Pants Designs, and I'm so excited about it. Um, I have this really simple idea of adding a paper piece, <laughs> one single square uh, paper, and a lots and lots of um, embellishments like stickers and paper ephemera and also some fuzzy cut elements as usual but first i'm just starting with the piece of paper um, i used my cutting machine to make this super simple square and i'm adding some stickers i'm not like really keen on using stickers but they are making great simple uh, effects on the background and also why not on paper too but especially on the background um, and even though they are really thin and <coughs> sorry really thin you can layer them up like anything um, the base leaves and petals had a lot and lots of paper ephemera, so I'm using that. Uh, I'm simply uh, using these dags and some other shapes to layer up to make some kind of paper clusters, kind of, <laughs> and using a stapler, stapler to bind them together and then some 3D foam to attach them on the background to make sure there is enough air between the layers. Um, and this layout has two images, even though the photograph is exactly the same. One is colored and one is black and white. Uh, it makes quite nice um, effect to have two photos and a little different point of view kind of um, i'm not sure whether to put the black and white on top or below but i'm pretty sure i ended up with having the black, uh, black and white kind of um, below and then the colored one on top and uh, while I was designing this layout I thought it would be much more balanced to have one of the photos uh, straight and one of them slightly angled um, it would be kind of really boring <laughs> to have both of the photos straight um, but if the both of them would be slightly angled that would be hmm, i'm not sure which is the right word in english but anyway the, the outcome looks much more balanced when you have at least one of the photos straight and then one slightly angled um, there is some loose thread on the background too because I wanted to have some some fun loose things and soften up the paper and stickers especially the stickers which are slightly um, they have this slight slightly shimmering shiny surface <laughs> and the paper is totally matte of course but anyway the uh, thread soften things up a little and then i'm adding the title and it's easy to cut up the title from the sticker sheet with the background because the background is clear and you can design where you want to have them before you you have the sticker and the glue there and 
it would be much messier this way. Anyway, that was super simple without any mixed media. Um, and I hope you like this. I have some more to come up. So I think we will see you again soon. Bye!